One of the things I wish OBS had was a plugin manager. There's so many awesome plugins you can add to extend the functionality of OBS. And whenever I make a video about a new OBS plugin, so many people get stuck on the very first step. How do you install the plugin? And what is Jithube? What the fuck is this? It's also really hard to make sure all your plugins are up to date. The only way to find out is to manually check the download page for each plugin one at a time, and nobody wants to do that. So until OBS adds a proper plugin manager, I'm gonna show you a third-party tool that allows you to select all the plugins that you want and install them in just one click. The tool will also notify you anytime your plugins are out of date and then let you update them all with a single button. It's really cool, I've been playing around with it recently, so I wanted to show you how it works and then also address some of the concerns that you might have because I know some of you will be like, I don't trust this tool, nutty, I'm not installing this virus. Real quick, you know how you've been using Windows with that cringe watermark in the bottom right of your stream? I've come to save you with today's sponsor, VIP SCD Keys. You can get a Windows 11 Pro license for as little as $21. Just make sure to use my code nutty at checkout to get a 30% discount. And if you hate Windows 11 or you just want to save a little bit more money, you can get Windows 10 keys for as low as $15. And you can upgrade those keys to Windows 11 later if you feel like it completely for free. Make sure to use a secure payment method at checkout like PayPal and they'll send you over an activation code. Go into your Windows settings, plop that code in and you're done. No more watermark. Check out VIP SCD keys in the link down below. And thanks again for sponsoring this video. So the tool is called Stream Up plug installer. It's made by a team of people, including Andy Lippy. He also makes streaming guides and tutorials. You might have come across his videos at some point. You know, the guy that goes, hey yo, duckies, put your rock in your stone. The stream up plug installer. Yes, it's actually called that, not plugin installer. This is a third party OBS plugin manager. It is in no way affiliated with the official OBS project. And that's important to know because not every single plugin will be available through the plugin installer. And more importantly, anytime you use a third party tool or third party software, you are taking a risk. So I just wanna put that out front so you guys don't accuse me of trying to hack your computers or anything. This is only gonna work with Windows, but if you're on Mac or Linux, uh, keep watching. There's nothing in it for you. I'm just lonely and I want you to stay with me. To get the plugin installer, head to the link down below. Unfortunately, it will ask you to make an account and then send you a verification email, which is super annoying. I wish it was just a straight up download link. But once you've done that, just log in and click on stream up plug installer V2. When you open it up, Windows is going to be like, hey, are you sure you want to open this? Just, just trust me, okay? I'm, I wouldn't stake my whole career on trying to hack your computers. I don't care what's in your hentai folder. You'll see a long list of plugins on the left with a bunch of them pre-selected. Most of the popular plugins are in the list. You've got 3D Effect, Atom Vertical, the Move plugin. Basically, if I've covered the plugin in a YouTube video, you're probably gonna find it here. You kind of need to know what each plugin does because none of them have any descriptions, which, Kind of sucks because I've never even heard of some of the plugins that are here. If you don't know which plugins are good and you don't know where to start, I did make a top 10 plugins video last month, so you can check out that video. You can also subscribe if you haven't already because I guarantee you at some point I will make another top five OBS plugins video. I don't know when I'm gonna stop milking that title, but it's guaranteed to happen. Along the top, you'll see six options. These are just presets. So you have required plugins, recommended plugins, outdated plugins. This is a bit confusing. The required button basically pre-selects all the plugins that are required by other stream up products. And this is where you're gonna feel the whole this is a third party tool. They're trying to funnel you into buying their other stream up products, which are great by the way, don't get me wrong, but I imagine most of you just wanna select your own set of plugins. I also don't understand the difference between required plugins and recommended plugins, because I think they're the same. 
Definitely do not install all the plugins at once. Honestly, just select custom and then clear selection and select the plugins that you know that you want for sure. From here, you can click download plugins, but by default, it won't actually install them for you. It's just gonna download them to your downloads folder. If you want the installer to actually install the plugins for you, you need to change the directory to where your OBS folder is, which is normally here. Now it's gonna ask you to restart the installer in admin mode, which I know sounds a bit yikes, but it needs to do this to get right access to your OBS folder. But if running some unknown third-party software is making the sirens go off in your head, which totally understand by the way, you don't have to do this. You can just download the plugins and then manually drag them into your OBS folder afterwards. If you're still paranoid after that and wanna be completely safe, which I get it, okay? You use Arch Linux, you're smarter than everyone else, get over yourself. You can just check open URLs only and then instead of downloading anything, it will open up the official download page of each of the plugins you have selected and then you can just grab them directly from the source. I'm lazy though and I wanted that full one-click download experience, so I chose to have StreamUp automatically install all my plugins for me. So I search for my OBS folder, the program restarts itself in admin mode, then I selected all the plugins I want, click download plugins, and then that's it. It might take a while because it also does a backup of your entire OBS setup. So if anything goes wrong, you can just restore an old setup, which is nice. I'm glad that they thought about doing that. If you decided to go the safe route and download the plugins instead of automatically installing them, then you'll have to go to where your OBS folder is and then drag all of the downloaded files into that folder. Now, what about updating your plugins? StreamUp is also able to detect when you have outdated plugins, and then you can update those plugins with just a single click, but it won't actually do that by default. When you first run the plugin installer, you'll notice the outdated button along the top is grayed out and you can't select it. And that's because you also need the StreamUp OBS plugin for that functionality to work. The good thing is, you can actually install that plugin using the plugin installer. You just select stream up from the list and install it. Then every time you start OBS, it will check to see if you have any plugins that are out of date and then it will notify you with a button to where you can get the update. And you could just click the download button next to each out of date plugin, but we're lazy, so we're not doing that shit. Instead, what you're gonna do anytime you see a plugin that's out of date, you're gonna shut down OBS open up the plugin installer, select the outdated button, and then download. That should automatically download the newest update for each of your plugins, and then you can restart OBS and everything should just be there. Keep in mind, this is not an official OBS tool. There is no official OBS plugins repo. So StreamUp has to maintain their own database, which means some plugins won't be in this list and some of them may be out of date by a couple of days. There's been times where Exeldra releases an update for the Move plugin, and then the StreamUp database hasn't been updated to reflect that. But for the most part, it's pretty up to date. Just keep that in mind in case you really want to be on the bleeding edge. Also, some plugins can't be automatically installed or updated through StreamUp. I know the NDI plugin and the Teleport plugin, those don't work well with StreamUp, but StreamUp will still download the updates for you. It's just that those plugins have their own installers, which you'll have to go in and manually run after downloading your plugins. You'll find those installers in your downloaded files folder, so just go there and run each installer individually. But uh, yeah, that's it. I, I didn't write an outro for this video. So um, uh, go, go follow me on Twitch and then look, uh, give me uh, give me money. Oh yeah, give money to uh, stream up first. Uh, sorry, they should go give them money and then give. Okay, thank you, see ya.